A common belief that I see repeated a lot is that if a vehicle needs a safety driver for safe operation, then it would mean that the vehicle is a level 2 vehicle. And on the surface, that makes sense, because a level 2 vehicle always needs a backup driver supervising the vehicle as it's driving to ensure that it doesn't get into any dangerous situations. However, SAEJ3016 states that the level for a system or feature is assigned based on the design intent rather than on the operational requirements. So for example, if you're a company developing level 4 functionality, but your current version of your system requires a person in the vehicle to ensure safety while you're testing and getting things right as you increase your ODD, then you would still have a level 4 vehicle. There's a bit of ambiguity here as well around what the production design intent applies to, whether it's of a specific iteration of the software or system being pushed out to the public, or whether it's about the long-term roadmap, say, a company working on eventually having a level 5 system, but at the moment only releasing ADAS level 2 functionality, which is there for driver assistance. Technically, they would be able to call their vehicles a level 5 vehicle based on some interpretations of the standard. I think the use of the phrase production design intent is important here, because it's separating itself from development design intent, meaning that once a release or function has finished its development cycle and it's been put into production, then that's the level we should be looking at. Basically, once that software that you're working on is out of testing, what level will that system be? So if you've got a beta or alpha release that requires vigilant monitoring, but once it's out of beta, it will be level 4, then you can call that a beta level 4 system, even if you require a driver in the meantime for safe operation. So yes, level 4 and level 5 vehicles can still require a safety driver during portions of their development, and still be referred to as level 4 or level 5. No one's trying to trick you, that's just the way this industry works. This video is part of a series explaining the basic concepts of autonomous vehicles and SAE J3016 in particular. You can find this video and all the rest on this playlist over here, or click here to go to the next video. Thanks so much for watching.